it starts outside of the classroom. This situation starts outside of the classroom. The kid's not paying attention. It is symptomatic of a bigger problem that starts way outside of the classroom. We are more self-centered today, go for you, do you, than we are making sure that the guy next to us is okay. What's going on guys? I hope you are having a great week. I want to say shout out to my guy Phil So Real for sending me a video about an email that a professor sent Coach Prime about the behaviors of some of the players on his team. So this is not no breaking news. I'm not sharing this as news to you guys. You've probably already seen this all over the internet. You've already seen this from your favorite YouTube channel or your favorite news source. Most of the time when I do a video, it's not to give you news. It's to give you my perspective. Now I have some sort of responsibility because people are listening to me. Some of these students are listening to me. Their families are listening to me. So I do have some type of responsibility and I do take that responsibility very very serious and I try to do my best to make sure that anytime I speak on a subject it's not just for me to get clicks and views it's for me to add my voice to the situation and provide a perspective that's either going to help the fan base or it's going to help the students who are listening or it's going to help their families before I do that guys I want Shador to tell you who we all around here and then I'll come back and give you my perspective go ahead Shador BWB wagon bus that's right. it's your man's Harry Billion. please do me a favor and smash Smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can get the videos as soon as I upload it to YouTube. All right, family, I gotta go ahead and get into this video real quick so that's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. All right, guys, so welcome back. Let's go ahead and play the clip and then I'll give you my perspective. This semester has been extremely challenging for me as a professor. I have never felt so disrespected in my 10 years of teaching. Students do not follow even minimally, and it slows down my class so much. They make it clear that they don't want to be here, and they have very little personal responsibility, making me responsible for their grades. For the students that do want to learn, it has been a bad experience as well, since they have to work on breakout rooms, and the distracted students do not bring anything, anything, anything to the table. You just got to eat. You got nothing to the table. But now it's forks and spoons. I often have to repeat the same three and four times because student athletes are present but not really in class. You present, but you ain't really there. You on the field, but you ain't doing nothing. You in a relationship, but you ain't got no love. You at the mall, but you ain't got no money. Got a lot of ability, but no darn talent because you don't think. It's from the teacher. Now, what bothers me severely is all the guys that we're about to see. Where's Corey? You in here? Let me know if they have a draft grade. Let's roll it. When he does, he is respectful. He's a good kid. I, I would have commended that. And kind, but a lot of the times, he has no idea of what is going on. He has missed way over three classes, so his final grade will drop. Any draft grades? Okay. When he is asked to participate, sometimes I need to repeat what we're doing because he is not following, distracting. Any draft grades? Joined the class a lot of the time. I was not able to see his face after having a conversation with him. So that means you're going to talk to him about this, and he's not visible on the camera. Next one. Any draft grade? Next one. Guys, you're going to get something out of this. You're going to be a man, or you're going to be a great football player. Since you choose not to be a great football player, we got to make you a man. Before I go deep into this, I want to be very clear about this. Coach Prime has a model for his young men that he is coaching at the University of Colorado. He wants them to be fast, tough, disciplined, and with character. And if I miss one, please let me know in the comments. When people see this type of videos, it's easy to say, well, what happened to fast, tough, discipline with character? Obviously, this shows that there's a lack of discipline that's going on. This type of stuff happens almost at every university. It happens with every football program. Young men who are coming into themselves, young men who are trying to figure out their own lives. They're coming from backgrounds, situations where their talent, their athletic ability afforded them to go to a program, a football program that just happened to be a school. 
So this happens everywhere. This is not unique to Coach Prime. That message is first for the detractors. Their thing is always to jump to conclusion and the detraction is gonna be, I thought you were about fast, tough, discipline with character. So that's for you first. It happens everywhere. The reason why you can say stuff is because Coach Prime lets you into his system. He's an open book. He shows you that this is the process. This is what's happening. This is what happens around the country. And because you're privy to this type of information, you can say something, but you're not going to see other coaches doing this you're not going to see other coaches when they talk to their students about their performance or their behaviors in class because they don't tape it and they don't put it out there so just understand that mr or mrs detractor but this video is not about you this video is mostly about the young men and their families because i'm as old as i am and god has given me this opportunity to be a voice in this space in this coach prime ecosystem i may not be the biggest influencer in this coach prime colorado ecosystem but i feel like i'm one of the more responsible voices in this system because people are listening to me and people are watching so let me talk to the parents and let me talk to the young men because i know they're listening and i know they're watching so hear me out you guys should know how old i am i'm 40 something years old <laughs> i'm approaching 50 but the things that influence their generation is a little different from what influenced our generation our generation was about a fight our generation was about equal rights we were in civil rights generation and a lot of the things that influenced us was the fight for equality in today's generation a lot of the young people their influence is mostly social media and because music influence us the type of music that is influencing them is the type of music that promotes money bling bling and getting your bag a lot of the rappers they're pretending to have this wealth they're pretending to have all this money girls and all of these things and they're encouraging the young generation to go after theirs and get theirs their mentality is about get the money get the girls and be rich it's almost like there's no responsibility to also make Make sure that they are a good citizen of that culture so follow me guys you guys have heard the term to whom much is given much is required so the people that have these platforms the people that have the talent and they have found a way to get our attention those people i feel like they think they have no responsibility with that platform they can just use that platform for their own benefit and they're not going to help the rest of us out so that's what's influencing a lot of these young people it's rare that you're going to hear about school responsibility being being responsible in your culture using your platform for the greater good what you hear is i got money i got a lot i'm rich you should be rich too and if you're not rich you're busted you're disgusted instead of encouraging the people in the culture that are not as fortunate as them they use their platform to shame the people in the culture not understanding that at the end of the day not everybody is going to be like you not everybody has your tenacity not everybody is as talented as you has the same gifts as you not everybody's gonna get to where you are so we got these people who are fortunate who are gifted god has given them a special gift to get to these platforms and then to shame everybody and try to tell them to get to where i'm at or you're a loser so here we are so now we get to this place where a lot of these young people their mentality is wrapped up in that kind of thinking so at the end of the day they don't hear anything about staying in school they don't hear anything about being responsible for the next guy they hear nothing in their music they hear nothing about you're only as strong as the weakest link in your culture in your friends group they don't hear any of that and we got coach prime who is trying to tell these young men listen life comes at you fast the things that you want to get out of life you have to work hard for it 95 percent of these young men that you're looking at on this team are not going to the nfl what is going to happen to the rest of them that's the setup now let me tie this all together so that you can understand why that's important why what i just said about the culture those who have influence on the young people people why they have a responsibility to all of us let me tie this in so you can understand why i said that and why these young people not participating in class having the bad behavior why this is all tied together at the end of the day the things that we consume in our culture the people we listen to the things that we do in our culture it's all connected it's all tied together a lot of us can really argue and say we are a product of our environment we are a product of our culture a lot of you have your fight your tenacity 
your bike because of things and people who had influence in your culture that influence you to think and move the way that you move. It takes a village to raise a child. We have to look at everything in our culture. We have to look at every angle that this is coming from. We can look at the influences in their personal lives, the music that they listen to, because you have to understand that music influences culture a lot more than you think. Music is a big, big influence over culture. That's why I'm using hip hop and I'm using music because you can remember the times in your life, the big moments in your life, and you can name a song that will be connected to that moment. There has been songs that have identified a generation of people, identify moments in time where things have changed in life. You can identify that with music. That's why I'm using music. Music is a big spiritual influence over all of our lives. Music is the soundtrack to life. I'll repeat that. Music is the soundtrack to life. Anything you do in life, there's always going to be music involved and music galvanizes people. Music brings everybody together. That's why we can hate each other on political party lines and at the end of the day, we can all go to a concert and we can all pump our fists and enjoy ourselves. That's the power of music. The musicians that have these platforms, they have a responsibility to the culture. They have a responsibility to these young people and the young minds that they are influencing. So any musician that is listening to me, that's why I like D1 and what he stands for and what he's doing right now. Whether you want to call him a clout chaser or not, I feel like he's saying the right things and he's trying his best to do with his platform what God is trying to let him do. We are responsible to this generation. And then the households, parents, the parents are also responsible. We are in a generation where parents are getting younger and younger and younger. The younger these parents get, the more lax we get in responsibilities in our society. Let me say that again so some people can get this. The younger parents get, the more we go away from being responsible in our society for things in our society. Big mama ain't in the picture no more. So what's happening? The things that we used to take serious, we don't take them serious anymore. The things that we used to tell the young people to help them to move forward in life, they don't have that no more. What's happening with this generation? They are being influenced by the wrong people. Nobody's telling these young people how important it is to get an education. I'm not talking about going to college because not everybody goes to college, but nobody's telling these young people how important an education is. You got these young parents, sometimes single parents, and it's very hard being a single parent. I'm not trying to shame single parents, but it's very hard being a single parent because there's a lot going on. Number one, if you're working, you're focused on trying to put food on the table. So you're spending hours and hours at work and it's very hard for you to pay that much attention to your children when you're spending eight to 10 hours at work every day. So where are the kids? Who's raising these kids? Where are they going? When you're sending them to daycare or after school before you get off of work, where are these young people going? Are they sitting somewhere where somebody's influencing them positively, giving them good stuff or are they just watching television, burning hours on social media, being influenced by a whole lot of people who do not have no moral compass, have no moral standards. Who's influencing these young people? It starts outside of the classroom. This situation starts outside of the classroom. The kid's not paying attention. It is symptomatic of a bigger problem that starts way outside of the classroom. You have a young man who found a sport in football. And because of his God-given abilities, his athleticism, he was able to dominate in high school. Parents not paying attention to him, but they got football. So they found solace in football, dominated in football with their pure athleticism, and that's what they got. So people are giving them attention. Recruiters are coming and saying, oh my gosh, your child is great. I want him to come to my university. But there is a picture behind that child that we're not focused on. We're only focused on their ability, but we're not focused on what's behind this child. The thing that's influencing them, the people they're listening to, the music they're consuming, the type of things they're watching, people are not paying attention to that. So we recruit them and we bring them to these universities, not knowing that mama had a hard time trying to contain their energy, not knowing that mama could not spend time with them to do their homework, to tell them how important homework was or how important homework is. Daddy may or may not be in the picture, but even when daddy and mommy are both in the picture, guess what's also happening that people don't usually talk about? There are times when both parents are in the home and everything's not all right. And the kids are being negatively influenced by negative things in our environment. 
We lack morals in our environment. We lack responsible people with these platforms. The people that have the microphone, they're not responsible with their mic. The people that have these big platforms, they're grifters. They're not responsible with anything. They're feeding you a bunch of macho, be a man type of stuff, but they have no morals. And the stuff that they're speaking is demonic and is coming out of their mouths and their spirits are affecting these young people. We're not paying no attention to that. Society is failing our young people, but we're not paying no attention. We just celebrate the fact that they can jump high, run fast. Fast. And here is Coach Prime trying his hardest to tell these young people there is more to this than just getting the bag. And you have to come out of here and be a better member of society. And all you're thinking about is the bag. So they go to these classrooms. They're falling asleep. They're not paying attention. Their attention span is so short because they're so used to TikTok, YouTube shorts. This generation is being lost and nobody cares. None of us care. As long as they can run fast and jump high, that's all we care about. All we care about is money. We're losing our moral compass. Everything is everything. As long as you're a good person and you're happy, that's all that matters. That is not all that matters. God matters. Jesus Christ matters. We're missing God and Jesus Christ in our society, and that is hurting our young people. Yes, I said it, and if you tune out after I said that, I'm sorry for you. But we're missing a major factor in our society, and we're hurting our young people. People and we think it's all good as long as they can run fast and jump high. It's not all about money, people. If you think it started in that classroom, you've already missed the message. It starts outside of that classroom. It starts in the homes with the parents. It starts with the leaders in our communities. That's where it starts. Who are the people that we are praising? Who are the rappers that we are praising? Who are the singers that we are praising? All of these naked people that we just like, oh, you know, they sing great. That song is nice. All of these gangsters, these thugs, oh, that sounds great. That sounds nice. Who are the the people that we are allowing to influence our young people and we're just going along with it young mothers and young fathers with no training with no moral compass that are out here raising these young people sending them into society and not really understanding that we are beholding to our bigger community than just ourselves we're more self-centered today than we are community-based let me say that again we are more self-centered today go for you do you than we are making sure that the guy next to us is okay that's what life is about it's a communal thing it's about community you look after each other in our society we look after each other if the young mother is struggling somebody steps up and say let me help out do you need help let me take your child let me help them with their homework they're not going to be on social media when it's time to do homework they're not going to be playing video games during school days there is no video games during school days you got to do your homework and then you got to read who is doing that that's where it starts at so when coach prime gets these young men you're seeing the results of the lack of those things that i'm describing responsibility community members, responsible people with the microphone, somebody helping them to do homework and explain to them the importance of homework and reading and education. Not everybody's going to go to college, but the importance of education. There's a difference between going to college and having an education. I'll repeat that. There's a difference between going to college and having an education or getting an education, educating yourself. That's where it starts, folks. So we can say, well, look, they're not fast. They're not disciplined. They lack character. But who do you promote in your society? Who are the people that we are looking up to that we are allowing to come on these radio stations? We got to hold our community accountable. We got to hold the Breakfast Club accountable. I'm in New York, so name your radio station. Greensboro 105 or 102 Jams or whatever. Name your radio stations. Name your politicians. Name your churches. Name your pastors, your priests. Name those people. We have to hold everybody accountable. Radio station, Mr. DJ, you are a big, big member in our community. Who are you putting on that microphone? Who are you interviewing? Or are they hurting us? That's important. And if they are hurting our society and our young people, we got to cancel you. We got to take you off the air. And if anybody tells me, well, it's not the DJ, it's the programmers and it's the stations, then let's hold them accountable. Let's boycott them until they start playing stuff to help our young people. Play more stuff that talks about staying in school. Play more stuff that talks about the responsibilities you have in your community. It's not just about you getting your money, go after your bag. That's important too. But when you get the opportunity or you are blessed to how much is given, much is required. You have to take the responsibility and the leadership to make sure that everybody else is okay in your society, in your community. That's important. It is not enough for you to just do you. And I'm watching and participating in your nonsense. That's not enough. You got to be responsible with that microphone. You got to be responsible with that platform.
platform. And if you're not, you're hurting us. You got to get canceled. If you're not helping your community, if you're not doing something to help these young people, then you got to go. You got to get canceled. We are all responsible for what's going on in that classroom. Believe it or not, you're responsible and I'm responsible. We're all falling asleep. That's what we're doing. We've all fallen asleep. It starts with us. It starts with what you tolerate in your community. It starts with who you tolerate in your community, who you tolerate on your radios, what you tolerate your kids watching. And if you're too busy at work, you're too busy doing other things to monitor what your kids are watching, listening to, and who they are following and listening to, then that's part of the problem. It starts with all of us. Some of you are not going to like me saying this. We are the problem. We are responsible for those young people and what's going on and what they're lacking. The thing that you just heard, it's because of us, not them. It's because of us. We fail those young people. The reason why they're sleeping and not paying attention in class is because of us. We have failed them. And we got to look in the mirror and say, what is it that we're missing? Why are these young people declining and not increasing? Why is morality declining and not increasing? Why has culture declined? and not increased that's important we're responsible we've fallen asleep at the wheel we're the big mamas we're the grandpas we're the new ones we're the new martin luther kings we're the malcolm x we are the rosa parks that's us we cannot sit and wait for superman any longer we are responsible now every generation is responsible for the next generation it's us in the driver's seat and we are failing these young people so before you go pointing the finger at anyone look in the mirror i'm gonna leave it right there and i'll see you get it see you on the next video. Oh.